Happy Monday! Hey guys! How are you? Please say hey when you jump on. I hope everybody is doing well. Hey Laura, how are ya? Oh, I just hit something. I was on the right page. How are you? Hey Jennifer Lopez, how are ya? Thanks for watching. It's Monday. Is it Monday? Yes, it's Monday. Oh my God, I had to stop and think. Guys, I'm still like in the... I'm not in vacation mode because I'm really busy working, but I feel like I haven't um, gotten my time right yet. I'm really good. Thank you. I'm really, really good. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just like still like on the beach, but not really on the beach, but I wish I was on the beach. Yeah. Gotta wait until next year. Uh, thanks for the hearts, guys. We're going to give it a couple minutes before we start. I hope everybody had a great weekend and everybody stayed safe. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff. I have a friend who um, finally heard from her family about 10 minutes ago. Um, down in Ola. Hey, Melissa, how are you? All of a sudden, my phone's doing this again. It's diving. I'm going to be like this at the end. <laughs> A newbie, thanks for watching. Oh, my God, welcome. Welcome. We love newbies here. You are going to be feel so welcome. We have the best group here, including Marilyn, who just jumped on. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? Welcome, Jan. Ask any questions you want because these will be your peeps. They are awesome, awesome. Deb, Deb, isn't it like the first week of school? How is this happening already to you? All right, guys, we're actually only gonna do one project tonight. Did you get to see my video today? Um. So I started working on a project this weekend, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, you start in the second. Is it all the prep work that's got you in a tizzy? Laura, so I, po I think you know is about my video. I posted a video a little earlier. It was a project I worked on all weekend. It didn't take me all weekend to do it, but I worked on it all weekend. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Are you serious? How is that happening? How are people not working? I always thought being a bus driver was the coolest job. You get up, you go to work, kind of do what you want during the day. You go back to work, do what you want for the night. It's not a bad gig right all right guys if you are watching for the first time i'm patty colbert and i'm a designer with chalk couture and i absolutely love what i do um thanks for hanging with me tonight um i'm really trying to get better with the schedule i really you know i have customers all over the country so many different time zones so i'm really trying to be good you know doing some mornings and some nights afternoons and then like filling in with videos so it's Monday, which means housekeeping, okay? If you didn't get to see it, I did post a video earlier today. It was the crate that I had been working on. Um, the reason why I did that was because, um, you know, we're, most of you know we're renting while we're building, right? And these houses are relatively smaller, um, the front porch area. So I was talking to a neighbor and, about porch leaners and she said yeah we, i can't really have one because there's no room and i'm like well let me think about that for you so i came up with that crate so and if you can't have the big porch leaners you can have the crates how awesome is that right so we did the crate 
Um, she loved it. She thought it was a great idea. And I did go ahead and I posted the video. So obviously most of the pro products you can get right from my shop. Um, the tin cans that I used literally were vegetable cans, guys, that we dirtied up to make them look vintage-y. Um, and my studio smelled awesome all day because I did not use cinnamon. I used pumpkin pie spice or something like that. I liked the color better than the cinnamon. So I did that. And then actually the center focal point of that crate was this right here. Okay, so this is one of our double-sided box frames. You can paste or burn on this side, okay? I used pomegranate, I used um, Shimmer Harvest, and I used Dune. Dune is becoming everybody's favorite color, I think, because you can just put it anywhere. So this actually was the center of the crate, and then we kind of like filled it with pumpkins, and some cans with mums in them. So it actually came out really, really cute. So if you can't have a porch leaner, but you can have a crate, you might wanna check out that video because it was really, really easy to do, okay? Um, all right, let's talk about what's going on in Chocacho world. Um, look what I got today, don't be jelly. Okay, so this is September's club. All right, so you can only get this transfer two ways. If you're in Club Couture, which is awesome, it's a subscription, it's um, $19.99 per month, you get this size transfer and three coordinating paste packets every month. You also get free shipping on the subscription. But because you're a club member, you get so many other benefits. Um, $4.95 shipping on all other orders, no matter what the price is. Um, for the month of August, they're running a 50% off sale on certain frames. Um, so they're always steals and deals, okay? So take advantage, um, or at least check out Club Couture over on my shop, okay? Um, Again, it's once a month and it's a minimum of three months. And if you feel like it's not, up, you know, something that you want to continue, you can cancel. All right. Um, Pillar Stand Club, guys, we did our August one. Okay. We voted on September. The vote came in and um, go ahead and purchase that transfer. That is an optional program. If you want to join us for the month. Um, all you need to do is buy the A size transfer and I send you all the embellishments for free. Embellishments are different every single month. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, the beauty with the Pillar Stand Club is you can decide whether or not you wanna do it. Once the transfer is decided on, you can say, uh, oh, you know, don't feel like that one. I'm gonna sit this month out, no biggie. If you wanna do it, the transfer is $9.99, okay? Um, I will tell you the paste colors I'm using and that kind of coordinates with like my embellishments, but you are totally okay to use any colors that you want. It's an awesome club, ask anybody that's in it. Um, and it's just a way to, you know, update your decor once a month. A lot of fun things. Hey, Becky. Um, hi, Lisa, welcome. All right, so Club Couture, Pillow Stand Club, and of course, if you wanna become a designer, please message me or just comment designer and I will send you all kinds of information on that too. For $99, you get $250 worth of awesome product. It's unbelievable product, guys. And then um, once you're a designer, you get 40% discount on all products all the time. You can build your journey the way that you wanna build it. You can have a team, you can just sell things, you can make pretty things just for you and your friends and enjoy the discounts. It doesn't matter, it's what you wanna make of it, okay? So just comment below designer and I will get you that information. Okay, and I think that really is all the housekeeping for this Monday, unless I'm forgetting anything. Am I forgetting anything? And congratulations to Becky. Becky won 
Uh, the art contest for Chocature Designers this month. So excited for her. All right, guys, we are going to work with one of my favorite surfaces, the door tag. A lot of people double these door tags. I tend not to unless I put something on it. Um, only because I don't use these on my door. I, they're too small for my doors. So I'm, I don't double them up. They are beautiful, beautiful doubled. But tonight we're only going to do one, okay? We are going to use one of our new patterns. How cool is this? Um, I usually buy two because I usually cut the second one into quarters. And this is called the Woven Stripe. It was a fun project. It was a beautiful project. Hey, Robin, welcome. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you could share this video, um, you will be put on the big wheel. Um, we spin the wheel at the end of the month and somebody or some people win a great prize. So if you could share, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna use this woven plaid. We are going to use our door tag. The first thing we have to do though is we have to paint this. Sometimes I like to paint ahead of the game so you guys don't have to sit and watch it dry. But I'm gonna use chalk paste so it should dry pretty fast. Yep, I can see the phone like slipping. I'm gonna be like this by the end of this live. All right, so we're just gonna use black. I use this a lot, so much that I probably need to, yep, buy some more. Um, I love our door tags. You can do so much with them. Like I said, I usually, I've never hung one on a door, but I do put them in, I don't have any out. I like to set them on plate stands and display them that way. All right, and I am just going to paint, hmm, let's see. Usually I like to paint both sides. Let's see what happens. The reason why I like to paint both sides too is because um, I usually do have it in a plate stand so you can see the back. So we'll probably paint both sides. Now if you were hanging it on a door, obviously you don't have to paint the back side. So did anybody craft it all this weekend? people from all over people were getting ready for the storms people were closing up pools for the season people are leaving to go on beach vacations for the season um turning over gardens i have a lot of, a lot of friends who garden a lot of them were doing that this weekend i'm gonna use a brush i'm gonna use my brush what else? Um, I work. Oh, all right. So guess what? As of 10 o'clock this morning, every order, everybody's happy mail, um, everybody's product, if you ordered product from me, everything was out the door. I did get a couple of orders today, so those if you ordered today, those are the only things that I haven't shipped out. So if you're waiting on anything from me, I did some shipping on Friday. I'm sorry, I did shipping on Saturday and I did shipping today. All right, and again, I'm not worried so much about this being perfect because we're actually gonna add the stripe to it and then I'm gonna add something else to it. So let me go ahead and dry this front side really quick. And then I think I will paint the back. 
flowers. Oh, you did, Marilyn, I want to see it. Sherry, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think you were, I think I mailed something to you too, Sherry. I had a lot of mail that went out. Jeff even said, this is like a lot more mail than normal. Thank you, Sherry. All right, so I haven't used this woven plaid, woven, woven plaid yet. It'll be the first time I'm using it. If you're in my VIP lounge, I have a couple of giveaways over there. So you might want to check it out. If you're not in the VIP lounge and you want to be in the VIP lounge, um, that's where all my steals and deals are. I give updates on product information, um, products that aren't chocolate chair products, anything like that. Just in the comments, put VIP and I'll send you a link. We can't add people anymore. Facebook doesn't allow that. So I'll have to send you a link. I will send it to you. Absolutely. Love being a designer. I have a great team. The benefits are amazing. Um, you get 40% discount on all product all the time. And I'll send this to you. Um, you get 25% commission on all orders placed on your website. You have the opportunity to earn free um, product dollars, which is awesome. And you're allowed to do anything with it that you want. There's, I always say there's like three different reasons to becoming a designer. One is because you just want the discount to make pretty things, right? Um, the second reason I say is because you want to make pretty things and sell them. So you can sell all your projects um, any way you want. A lot of people um, become designers, they do a lot of vendor shows or they have um, a booth or friends with booths that like mercantiles or things like that. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a really great reason to become a designer. Just you get all those discounts and then you can turn around and sell whatever you name your own price. Um, it's once you join as a designer, it's your business. You run it the way that you want to. Um, and then the third reason would be what I do. I love making pretty things. Um, I have not bought something for a gift in years. I usually make things. Um, I have built a team, which I absolutely love. Um, and I, I too, I sell the products that I make. You know, I usually make about four or five, maybe even more products, projects a week. So, you know, I can't keep it all. So there's so many great reasons to becoming a designer. Plus, um, the kit that you receive it's, um, like I said, it's $99 and you get $250 worth of product. Actually, if you planned on doing it by the end of August, which is tomorrow, they actually have two extra transfers in this month's kit. And they are giving all new designers in August the opportunity to earn their kit back for free. So the $99 that you pay in August, you have a chance to 
earn that back. Chocolate is awesome. They, they really are an awesome company. They're always doing something. And if anybody new joins on my team, I am um, I too am giving um, gifts away for any new designers on my team. Okay. All right, let me dry this and we should be good to go. And I will get you that link too. We love when we have new people watch us. So thank you for joining. Um, like I said, if I don't see, or if I can't answer your comments while I'm live, I will definitely get back to you tonight. And these gals and guys, they will help you. So if I don't see the comment, they'll jump in and help. Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Welcome. It's funny. My phone is really going like this. So I'm going to like within the hour, I'm going to be going like this to finish reading the comments. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We are doing a little Halloween. Well, it's not a little Halloween tag. We're doing a Halloween tag tonight. I have so many transfers, guys, that we have to work on before the new transfers come out. Remember all those kits I was telling you about? They're all still sitting there. I gotta... I know. I mean, they're all organized. I should show them to you. They're all organized. I just gotta get them up with prices. Hey, Kim. How are you? Black on me. Hello, you Kim. We have in, in this catalog right now, we have the best fall and autumn Halloween transfers that we've ever had. They are amazing, amazing. All right, like I said, I'm not too worried about this being perfect because we are going to do the woven plaid on it. Do right, you guys say woven or woven? Woven? Woven plaid? You're tired. Oh, no, it's Monday. Are you crafting today, Kim? Kim crafts all the time, I think. will be good. Let me flip it back over. If anybody is still interested in the kitchen rules transfer, the August Club Couture transfer, you can only get that now. Tomorrow will be the last day. So it will go away tomorrow. Um, the monthly transfer, like I said, is only good for club members or designers. And it's only good for that month. So if you have had your eye on that transfer, you need to sign up today or tomorrow. And hop on over to the VIP lounge because, just like anything else, I'm giving away gifts for anyone who joins Club Couture. Okay. 
this shit on it. Okay. You know I've been busy. Usually I don't empty, I only empty my barrels once a week up here and I've already emptied them twice. I don't know what I've been doing. And it's full again. And I didn't bring my water. I don't know why. Okay. So this I just used um, chalkboard paint, paste, chalkboard paint. Um, and I put all this information up in the VIP lounge too, okay? All right. Everybody's so friendly here. And if you share this video, your name does go on the spin wheel. I tend to give things out during the month too, but we do spin at the end of the month and someone wins a really cool prize at the end of the month. Or technically I spin on the first of the month. All right, I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit more. And so along with this project, we are going to do a chalkable chip. Okay, we're going to use the woven plaid or woven. What do you guys call it? Tell me. How would you tell me? I guess I really don't know what I, woven, 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 right? Woven, how many O's in it? There's one O, so, ooh, whoa, <laughs> Becky, whoa, <laughs> woven. I think that's what you're trying to tell me, right? <laughs> woven. Hey, Hillary, thanks for joining. Woven, I think that's what Becky means by that. All right, so here's our chocolate chip. I am going to punch a hole in it because we'll use it um, on the project. Now these um, are just like our chalkboards. They come, we have black and white. You can put a magnet on it. You can stick them on your fridge. You can do anything you want. And I'm using one of our minis. And I picked Rest Your Bones because we're going to be putting a little skeleton skull on the tag. These transfers are reusable. The, the small ones go on forever. But something like this. You can reuse them up to 15 times. You just wash them with water. I'll show you how to wash. Um, I'll do the little one. You just wash them with water and you dry them um, sticky side up. Put the backer back on and you are good to go. So long as you take care of the transfers, they will be your friend forever. And this is another reason why people become designers because they like to make 15 or so of the same thing and sell it like that. It's like an assembly line. Some people uh, join Club Couture and get that monthly transfer and that's the only thing they sell. They make as many of those projects as they can once a month and that's all they sell. Um, Again, if you take care of the transfer, you can get a lot more uses out of it, but you know, technically you should be good with 15 uses. Um, and I mean, they wait for that transfer once a month and then you just peel off. Okay, all right, let me show you how to wash this. We're not going to be using the black anymore. So we're 
go ahead and put the cover on this. It's like oven. Oh, well, no, it's not like oven because then it would be woven. You know, if you don't think about it, you, you just say it however you would say it, right? But when you think about it, you can say it so many different ways. <laughs> All right, how we wash transfers is pretend I'm at my sink. All right, so you just wanna wash the front and the back side. We do have sponges. They're actually called board erasers. We have these, but um, you can use a, people use no wax rags. Um, I'll show you, I use wipes. You can use any kind of wipe you want, except a baby wipe. You don't want to use baby wipes because they do have oil in them and you don't want oil to get on that silk screen. So right now it doesn't feel that sticky, but the sticky will come back. Okay. So if I was at my sink, I would do it under running water. Oh, and you don't do that. Um, I just put the wet sponge on it. That's okay. Because it didn't make that big of a deal. Um, if you were at your sink, it's so much easier to clean. Probably can't even see that if I can see that. So that's why you should dry. Whatever you do, you should dry because the chalk stays wet until it dries. It goes on wet and it dries hard. Oh, good, Kim. Yeah, I think because you have that discount, you're all set now though. But it could be dangerous because now you know how to get on all the time. <laughs> be good for the quarter Kim all right so we're gonna put that aside we'll put this aside we'll let this dry and let's go ahead and do this so this is very large it's our D size we actually have one bigger this is 18 by 18 um, and our larger size is um, 18 by 24 so what I like to do is I'm not cutting this one because actually it's probably I'm going to use this one in the middle and probably just a few of these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz the back so we put a little bit of fuzz on the back of transfers and that just helps us pick up the transfer from the surface because I did put a chalk paint on that I'm actually going to put a little bit of wax on it and that will just make it so much easier to pull this transfer up okay wax does not hurt the transfers at all so to put these are our fuzzing cloths and literally you're just putting a little bit of lint on the back that's all you're doing I hope you got something good, Kim. You got stuff, you got good stuff this month already. Elizabeth, thanks for hopping on with us. How are you? We are doing a quick. It's always quick if I don't talk a lot. I tend to talk. Thanks for joining. All right. So we have a little bit of lint, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and throw just a little bit of wax on this. 
All right, and who, not designers, who's going to tell me what my favorite wax is? Maybe there'll be some happy mail. What is Doreen? Oh, good. Oh, I can't believe you didn't have the scissors. Oh, I transfer scissors are awesome. You know, I really don't use them to cut other things only because I don't want to ruin them. But we have these silicone scissors to cut our transfers and they are awesome. All right. So I just kind of like wax on, wax off. And again, that just helps pull up the transfer. So when you're working with a big transfer, you can do one of two things. You can do what I'm gonna do, or you can flip the transfer over. When I'm working with uh, an appropriate surface, I kind of flip it over. When I'm working with a smaller surface, I kind of like eyeing it this way. Hope I get it in the middle. Do I want to go up more? Yeah, let me go up a little bit more. That's black. Chuck Teak! Doreen. Didn't I always say this? It doesn't matter. I always, no matter when I use the black, I always get it all, all over me. All right. Let me just move this up a little. Probably right here. Kind of like eyeing things. And I think it looks pretty good. Alright, the one thing you absolutely want to do is make sure all your air bubbles are out. Um, not so much on the dot green area, but definitely the open mesh area. If you have air bubbles, um, then when you put the paste on, it will bleed underneath. Thanks, Marilyn. Doreen is right. My favorite wax of all time is Chuck Teak Wax. And if you need information on that, I'll have that up in the VIP lounge as well. Just comment wax. Um, it's my most favorite wax. I would say all my customers use it and most of my designers use it too. All right, so with this, we're gonna use our Shimmer Frost, which is a white. And I got a little bit of black paint there, which it's not a big deal. So again, our paste goes on wet and it dries hard and it's water soluble. So you can wash it off. Any of our uh, chalkboard surfaces or any chalkboard you may purchase um, outside of Chalk Couture, our chalk will wash off. Um, any type of porous surface like this or you know, a wooden round or anything like that, the chalk isn't just gonna wash off. You can get it off if maybe you wanna sand it but those types of pro projects are usually permanent. We also have ink, which is permanent. So all our transfers you can use with either chalk or ink. Ink is awesome if you wanna make t-shirts, pillows, it goes on any type of fabric. Um, you can make your own glasses. Um, our ink is permanent, so it needs to be heat set. So let's just go ahead and so this is going to be subtle when it's all said and done because there's a lot of green space. That's the look I was looking for. Now, I honestly was going to use tonight our floral design, 
which I love, Doreen loves. One of my all time favorite transfers, but we don't have that available anymore. So I didn't want to show it if you couldn't get it. But if you do have the floral transfer, it would look awesome with this project that we're doing. You're just going to want to scrape up the excess. We will be adding ribbon up the top, so I'm not too, too worried about the top either. And don't throw that paste away. You want to save it? Yes. Oh, Becky likes the modern one. Terry, how are you? Terry, I am nominating you to make the project that I made today. I want you to make a crate for your front porch because I know you can. And you have a beautiful porch that you could put it on. Just want to make sure I have the edges too. Mm -hmm. Terry is a singer, so she has to go to rehearsal. I know I love the florals and it, it's hard because like I definitely would have put a floral on this one but if we don't have it anymore I feel bad because people love it and they're like well I can't buy it and I'm like I know so. but this will be beautiful too Ta -da! so this I will take to my bathtub and wash it out when I'm done I'll just stick it here for now. So this is pretty with now the reason why I painted the board and just didn't do white stripes is because I wanted I'm using a metal skull you'll see and I wanted that to really stand out. So we have um, we have the vault, right? And it usually opens twice a year. And that's when they bring back some of the favorite retired transfers. And they do ask our opinion. They ask designers opinions, like which transfer would you like to see? So you never know which ones they would come out with. All right, so this was me just eyeing it. I thought I did a pretty good job. Okay, but that's what the plaid looks like. It's really crispy. Um, I'm gonna be doing a scarecrow with this pattern at some point. Let me go ahead and put the cover on this. Spring garden pattern. is a new one yeah the d21 yeah that one is that the one with the bigger the bigger flowers right like they must spread out all right let's go ahead and dry this now some of you bought black tags for me during my christmas in july sale so you wouldn't even have to paint your tag. All right, so um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is this is a kit, okay? If you are in my VIP group, um, it should be posted. It was supposed to be posted a couple minutes ago. So everything that I'm showing you tonight is in the kit except for the transfer the bigger transfer because I thought you would probably want to either use something that you already have or you can purchase this one right off my shop. It is available and I'll have the links 
and um, you can use like you could use orange paste you can use the purple so what's going to be in the kit is everything but the transfer and the paste okay so if you're in my VIP group head on over and you can see that link while we're finishing up And this shimmer frost, it, it, it's got like that glittery effect to it, so it looks really pretty. Becky, have you used this one yet? taking me this long. I usually use, um, I usually use the, um, patterns right away. I'm surprised I haven't used this one yet. really surprised it took me this long to use this pattern because I really do like it. All right, so here's what this looks like so far. Thumbs up. Do you like it? It really, I mean, you can see all the like jagged and it really does look like woven plaid. All right. Make sure that's dry. The shimmer does take just a little bit longer to dry. Let me get my get my heat gun out. takes a little bit longer than our regular paste. Okay, guys, let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, so we've got the ribbon. All this ribbon will be in your kit, okay? So we've got ribbons. This will be in your kit. I'm actually taking the rope off. I'm not gonna use the rope because now, I don't want the holes to show either, right? So, we have a bat, which will be in your kit. I was thinking we can do like a little barrette. And then, this tag that we made, I'm kind of going to hang it so maybe it kind of just drapes over the other um, hole. And if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I still cannot believe I put a wet sponge on wet chalk paste. What was I thinking? All right. And then you're going to get risers because I'm going to make this kind of 3D-ish. So we're going to put this in the middle. But we're going to put the risers so it kind of um, will sit up a little. Okay? And we will hot glue those on. Let me change my battery.
doing this while we wait for that. So all the ribbon that I'm using tonight, you will get the same exact ribbon in the kits, okay? So we have some of this black jute. You know what? Because I'm gonna hang that, I think I'm gonna use a bigger piece. I wasn't gonna use the chip before and then I added that at the end. So let's just cut a bigger piece in case. this on so we know where we're going to sit it. And you could do this with um, magnets as well. Um, if you want to change this out, you can um, glue a magnet to this and put a magnet on this side if you don't want this to be permanent. I, of course, want it to be permanent. But if you want to change this uh, template out, you can go ahead and use magnets instead of hot glue. And kind of just eyeball it again. I'm gonna put it a little higher just because I wanna make sure that chip I can get to fall on that little hole. And you don't have to take the rope out. You can leave your rope in. I really do like this plaid. I really do. All right, so that's it so far. So say it, it's raised a little now, okay? So that's it so far. All right. Then I was thinking, we're not gonna do the bows tonight. Now you can do the bows if you want. You can make the regular bows that we make, right? But I think I'm just gonna place the ribbon tonight. But that would look super cute too. see how much I really want with this. I'll end up cutting a bunch of it, I bet. Let's see if that's going to be good. Yeah, that one I kind of want longer. So this one will cut a little bit shorter. I'll use those for scraps. I just took out some lace because you always have to have lace, right? And then just some brush chiffon. So you'll you will get all the same ribbon in the kit. that on. All right, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and finish this and we'll get that chip on there. Cut 
that one just a little bit more, but we'll figure that out at the end. Definitely cut this. I love, this is velvet and lace, guys. I don't know if you can see that. It is so pretty. All right, we'll see how everything falls and then we'll fix it. Because this one definitely is a little too long on this side. I do have black um, raffia. do the ribbon on there and just let that show. All right, let me get my six thousand out too. So this is hitting right where the paste is. So let's do the six thousand glue on this instead. I think we'll use the ribbon to cover that second hole. I've never heard a neighbor's dog. I hope somebody didn't forget about her. have that. Let's put our bat barrette on. Oh my god, that actually sticks right in that hole. How funny is that? This little thing sticks right in that hole. How do I want to put it on though? that dry. I can put a little bit on this side too. finish the ribbon. So I think that that way. I think if I push this this way, it 
We'll be fine. Without breaking that off. Oh no, maybe I'll just leave it. Or I can put I'm going to be able to show you guys this. That's not drying yet. I guess I put, I think. I don't really want that to be in the middle, and that's where it's fallen. I'll just do it this way now. It definitely won't go anywhere. This one, kind of like this. Maybe a little up more. This isn't really glued. I think it's cute, guys. Twist this one. I think I'm going to twist, actually, glue on the ribbon so it stays where I want it to. Puff it up a little. Let me just cut this one a little so you can see more of the white so it doesn't hang. I'm afraid, like, this isn't dry yet. Right, guys, I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, um, it's funny because it depends on, um, like, it's not sticking on um, the paste, it doesn't stick on the paste all the time, the wood, and I think it's still a little wet, and that's why. But always have you 6,000 ready. All right, guys, I think that's it. Who wants to see it? Hey, Deb. Who wants to see it? Let me get a, um, yeah, I think it looks good, like messy. All right, let me get a um, stand. So this is what I was saying. So they technically are door tags. So you should hang them on a door. You don't really have to. Um, I never do. I always put them in, on plate stands. Hey, Heidi, I didn't even know you were around. Um, and the kits are available. So the link to the kits are already available in the VIP group, okay? And now remember, everything is included except for the background transfer because um, I will give you the link to that if you want to use this woven plaid, woven plaid. Or you can even use, yeah, this isn't sticking up. We got to wait for it to dry, guys. Or you can um, use, our, you know, one that you already have. All right, let me hold it down really tight so I can show you. We'll do it fast, okay? Ah! 
it stops slipping, I'll catch it. Ta-da! What do you think? It's, I don't see it sliding yet. And remember, so the paste colors aren't in the kit, so you can use any paste color that you want, okay? It's kind of cute, isn't it? I think it's great for a, um, let me make sure it's not sliding. I think it's great for on the counter. It's drying. It's drying. Thanks, Alicia. Is it Alisa? Alicia? Al? <laughs> All right, it's almost done. Oh, Lou. All right. I think it's almost dry, but not perfectly dry. No, it's still sliding, guys. But you get the gist, right? And that's it, guys. All right, if you're looking for a kit, head on over to the VIP lounge. I'm actually gonna take this off only because I want it to dry. <laughs> um, again, everything's included in the kit except for the background and the paste. Um, and I'll put all that up. I'll put all the links up on um, in the VIP lounge when I'm done um, later tonight. Okay. Um, limited quantities, like always. Um, I do have a couple more of the gnome Halloween kits available. And I actually may, had to make a couple more of the fall ones, and I do it in fours. So you might want to recheck the fall, the autumn fall signs because I actually added to them. Okay. Oh, thanks, Renee. How are you? Thanks for watching. Yeah, I wish I could like really show you, but it's still drying. I used risers, so it's not glued right to the board, and it's still drying. But it is cute. And I do love this plaid. So I'll put that in the link just in case anybody wants that too, okay? All right, guys, that is it for Marvelous Monday. If you have any questions, Please message me. Doreen, you're getting happy mail from me because she had the right answer. Ding, ding, ding. Um, and if anybody needs anything, please message me, okay? Um, Pillar Stand Club, order it by, if you're joining us this month, make sure you order it by September 1st. If you are interested in the kitchen rules transfer, you only have until tomorrow to purchase that one. And then the new club starts September 1st. And this is the transfer. I got an early copy. So this is September's transfer, okay? And I did post a video earlier today of the crate that I made. Something keeps popping over there. I'm also afraid to figure out what it is. Um, I posted a video of the crate. And I think Terry's going to make one. She's going to kill me. All right, you guys should all like just stop messenger. Terry, I can't believe you're making a crate. When are we going to be able to see it? That would be hysterical. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you all. I'll be back um, maybe tomorrow. You never know, right? Bye, everybody. Love you. Message me if you need anything, okay? Bye.